Hello everyone, and thanks for coming to my website, stefafoto.com. I'm here right now with the Pentax K7 DSLR, digital SLR. The K7 is the first Pentax digital SLR I have ever tried, and I must say that uh, I'm really liking it. I've had it for a couple weeks now with the kit zoom, the 18 to 55, which I'm not really thrilled with the zoom. Uh, and the quality but it's not bad the camera itself though is pretty amazing for the price for about nine hundred nine hundred fifty dollars you get a professionally built which means it's rugged it's weatherproof um, it, it's just a very nice body made out of metal it's solid um, the controls are solid everything is made really well with the Pentax K7 and you get all this for under a thousand dollars for the body um, like I said, it's weather weather sealed, so you can go out in some rain and some snow and some whatever, and it's not going to hurt the camera. Um, I've been shooting with it, like I said, for a couple of weeks, and I found the image quality to be very good, uh, but the only limiting factor has been the kit zoom. So I do have some cool lenses on the way that B&H Photo are sending me to try out with this camera. The uh, Pentax Limited 31 1.8 and the 77 limited 1.8 so I can't wait to try those because you know you guys know I love fast glass so I can't wait to see what they do with the K7 because I am really uh, impressed and another thing I'm really impressed with which uh, from other things that I've read about the camera uh, is the movie mode uh, I'm actually impressed with the movie mode not only the ease of use but the image stabilization in the body <clears throat> the Pentax K7 has really good image stabilization built into the body. And when you use, for example, the kit zoom when you're when you're making a video, uh, it almost looks like you're on a steady cam. It's so smooth. I do like the video. It's 720p, so it's not 1080p. But again, this is under 1000 bucks and you get a professional body. Uh, the other thing I like about it is it's tiny for a pro body SLR it's actually very small. This is not a full frame. I wish it was a full frame. Um, but it's an APS-C sensor. Um, and this is just meant to be the first look video. My full review will be coming in the next couple of weeks as soon as I get those other lenses to shoot with. Um, so for now, you're looking at the first look of the Pentax K7 with a few of my first shots with the zoom. So, uh, Hope you enjoyed. I'm going to go over some of the menu features. On the back of the Pentax K7, you have your beautiful LCD screen. Um, and when you press the info button, it cycles between two screens. Your first screen is the basic info screen, which tells you all your settings at a glance. This tells me I'm at F4. I have image stabilization turned on. I'm in autofocus single mode. Uh, the matrix type metering, I don't know what Pentax calls it, um, auto white balance, I'm shooting raw and uh, DNG raw, uh, JPEG qualities at four stars. I have the center point focus right here. Um, also it tells me I have 182 shots left on this memory card. If I press it again, I can actually change all of these settings and if I want to change my auto ISO settings, for example, I highlight that section and I turn the wheel and you can adjust your auto ISO. Um, highlight correction, right? Shadow correction, distortion correction, if you want that turned on, you can, just with a flick of the dial. So we have the menu system on the Pentax K7, which is one of the small weaknesses of the camera. It's not really a weakness, it's just that it's not the best looking menu system. It seems a little um, old, <laughs> um, but that's not a big deal because everything's easily changed. It's not as fancy as some of the Nikons and Canons, uh, etc. So here you go, you got your file format. I have it set to RAW plus JPEG to record DNG. Uh, you pick how many megapixels you want your JPEG to be recorded, 14, 10, 6, or 2. So this way if you're recording RAW and JPEG, you can record just a 2 megapixel JPEG to check the quality. JPEG quality, you can go from 4 stars down to 1. You check, you pick your auto ISO sensitivity settings. 
dynamic range if you want that on or off, which kind of uh, adjusts, it supposedly enhances the dynamic range of your photos. Sometimes I find that it adds noise to the image, and that's with any SLR. And what else do we got? Go to section two. Uh, now, if you have it set for JPEG only, I believe, let's try this real quick. I'm going to go to JPEG only. Okay. Yeah. Now I can actually turn on uh, HDR, High Dynamic Range Capture, and what this will do is it will capture multiple images and stack them together in the camera. You can pick a digital filter, which is basically uh, the filters like you see on the Micro Four Thirds cameras. There's Toy Camera, Retro, High Contrast, Extract Color. Some of these are kind of interesting. So we have Shake Reduction which works very well on the K7. You always want that on if you need it. Slideshow settings. Your camera settings, language, date adjustment, world time, text size. How big do you want the text to be displayed here? Guide display, beep. There's all kinds of things you can customize on this camera. Brightness level, HDMI out. This camera does have an HDMI output if you want to watch your movies on your high def TV or even look at your images. Uh, you can attach copyright information to the EXIF, so you can put your name, etc. Uh, pixel mapping, dust alert, dust removal, sensor cleaning, and format. The K7, if you buy the camera, you will realize it is super customizable. Um, there's all kinds. As you can see, there's six pages here of things you can customize. But you can set your noise reduction levels for high ISO. Uh, when you want the noise reduction to kick in, um, slow shutter speed, speed noise reduction. There are all kinds of settings. You can customize this camera any way you see fit. It might take you a little time to set aside to get it customized to your needs, but once you do, it's uh, set, set exactly how you want it. Um, you can also adjust the AF uh, basically, if you have a lens that's off, you can kind of adjust it there, kind of like the Nikons do. Uh, one thing I will say is the high ISO starts to get a little noisy by 800. So it's not a super high ISO camera. Um, I am waiting for the day when Pentax will release a body like the K7 with all its features, its build quality, um, but with a full frame sensor. If we can get um, that, I think the Pentax will have a super successful camera on their hands. Sure, Nikon and Canon sell way more cameras, but this camera actually has character, and as you know, I like cameras that have character. So I can't wait to try out those limited lenses, the fast prime lenses on this. I'm really excited to do that. And I myself am actually looking for a small DSLR for those times when I want to just do macro or telephoto or whatever, and I'm seriously considering the K7. For now, I hope you enjoyed this first look, and I will, of course, be updating this uh, as soon as I get those lenses. So thanks for looking, and check back soon for the full Pentax K7 review. Thank you, and thanks for visiting stevehuffphoto.com.